It made its way from the beaches of Tulum to Soho, and this summer is making a splash on the shores of Governor's Island. Today we're checking out Hitano. Lauren, Lovely to welcome. see you. Welcome to Hitano Island. Brand new spot for the summer. Why did you choose Governor's Island? I've lived in New York for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> and um, have never come to Governor's Island. Never. I'm on the ferry, on my phone, and I look, I'm like, four minutes, five minutes. Yeah, it's so quick. It's bigger than the Soho lot with 30,000 square feet. Well, I round up. 20, <laughs> 27, but what, 3,000 between friends. Right. And it's better. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's better. We're on the water. We have different sections here. Tell me about where we are. This is sort of the beach area, and they have bottle service and wine and cocktails over here. Very nice. And then I'm going to walk. Shall I walk you around? Yes, please. Come, Get follow me. <laughs> so this is our members' lounge. We're actually oh. launching a Gitano membership program. Okay. Disco Ball is our brand. So where better place to have a giant disco ball in the middle of the water feature? So we're basically building a bridge and a 30 foot tall kind of cabana with a giant disco ball. Oh my God. So you'll see that when you come you back. You had a giant <laughs> one at the restaurant. Yeah. Yes. So we have twin dining decks. All of this wood is from Tulum. Can oh, you believe it? Oh, beautiful. It's called Zapote. It's the hardest, one of the hardest woods in the world. It's very rare. I noticed kids here, so very family friendly. Absolutely. I mean, we really enjoy a, a very diverse audience. So where are we now? So this is the main dining tent. This bar was originally made in Tulum. I love it. And all the marble cracked en route, and we glued it all back together, like Wabi Sabi, and you know? And then that disco ball, yeah. All right, James, brought out some beautiful dishes. What yes. do we have here? I'm so proud of, the, of, of our menu. We've evolved over the years. And in tw end of 2019, we hired our executive chef from Puebla, Mexico. So it was really good to collaborate with him and evolve our concept and sort of elevate and bring, most importantly, to bring the true flavors of Mexico. We're gonna start with um, the truffle tayuda. It's almost like, a, I don't like calling it a bit, but it's almost like a Mexican pizza with a tortilla base. And, and black truffle. We try and balance healthy and delicious, yeah. and then sometimes a bit naughty, which would be the, the cheese. This sure is naughty. <laughs> but, it's so, but it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> One of our new dishes I'm really excited about, Antonio, our chef, created this crispy chicken. It's spectacular. The chicken's great, too. And this is our lobster tostado. Mm. I mean, this is all incredible. What have been some of the biggest challenges in opening? You know, bringing everything across the river, setting up and, you know, fairly short timeline. I'd say the biggest single challenge was, was the opening. It was, it was bumpy. Um, we're so grateful to be through it. Everything is finished. It's the Gitano experience. And we, we would love you, anyone that was here early, come back. Come and enjoy it. Well, it is so fun to see you again. Congratulations. Love, thank you so much. I can't wait to come back. Thank you so much. Cheers, darling. Cheers. 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 And that's a wrap. Mm -hmm. <laughs>